you are listening to the Foamy Heads Podcast, where we discuss craft beer and anything else that accompanies a glass. Right, it is the Foamy Heads. We are on site again, and it's been a minute since we've been at Craft Brewed, but that's where we are today. And uh, the main pool for this, uh, I guess it's Friday. Yes. <laughs> I've been a little confused this week on what day it was, but hey, it's the end of the week, and what better way to celebrate it than with pretentious, pretentious beer company. Beer. Yeah. Is it pretentious? Pretentious, pretentious beer company. Beer company. Pretentious so, beer company. Hell yeah. And, uh, it, it, they've got what five beers yep five beers tonight doing a tap takeover nice at craft brood and they are doing ipas uh they got a pb and j beer i couldn't figure out what style of beer was if it was a sour if it was like a stout but oh the berry one yes yeah yeah, yeah. they've got that one they've got new england ipa they got a west coast ipa on tap as well uh and then that hellas lager is kind of calling my name yeah i might be ending with that one soon but it's a bit warm over here in this corner so that's sounding really nice it's not just the corner. It's the whole <laughs> the whole location right now is a little bit warm. But it's okay. Uh, the the bay doors are open. We're looking outside right now into the into the outside sun and hopefully if it starts sun starts going down a little bit it'll get a little bit cooler in here. But right now we've got cold beer keeping us uh, hydrated. That's right. Man, a lot of faces are showing up in support for Pretentious as well. So it's great to see the community coming out supporting them as they do a tap takeover here at Craft Brood. I was, I like Pretentious Beer Company. So we went to Pretentious back, uh, well, my first time was quite a few years back, and I stumbled upon them on accident. They're right downtown in the heart of Knoxville. But going to Pretentious Beer Company, um, I, I did not realize that Half of their company is actually a glassware company. Oh yeah. So a lot of times the um, a lot of times they they start out and they were making they were making glass hand blown glass and that's what they end up using to pour their beer. So up the other side, pretentious beer company. And I like the I like the fact. In matter of fact, uh, they've got some glass here where here tonight as well that I'll probably go look at. Yeah, there's some dope stuff over there. They've got a, a wonderful, looks like beer mug. It's a pineapple look and feel texture wise to it. Um, they've also got, uh, what was it called? I actually looked up a couple of their glasswares on their site because I just, I, we went, when we went there in Knoxville, I didn't buy anything, but I really wanted a couple of them. I don't and, know if they uh, were selling them while we were in Knoxville though because we were there yeah. just right as the lockdown was being lifted. There was no sitting inside. Remember, we had to sit outside. Everybody yeah. was social distancing, and there was oh yeah, no it was twenty twenty. Yeah, ridiculous. Well, that was a fucked up place back then. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get served anything in glassware during twenty twenty. It was all plastic cups. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's probably why you didn't see anything. Yeah. Yeah. I, I looked through the. I didn't. Don't they have big windows that look into the glass? Yes, they mm. do have that, and then they had this little like freaky looking door that you could kind of creep into to see like where the glass is blown but yeah. obviously nobody was there yeah it was the juicy y and the big sexy that was the two glasses that i was like oh man those uh those look good big sexy big sexy and i yes. think i saw uh the juicy y is here today on the table that they're uh putting everything they brought glassware on. yeah oh that's right i'm excited about to see that because we didn't get a chance i saw it um, back my first time at Pretentious, mm. um, but that was I think like 2018 or something like that, maybe 2017. Oh yeah, and we just stumbled across. They didn't even have the outside open at the time. It was just this little interior area, that's and true. Um, we walked into the glass area thinking that's where the brewery was. It turns out the brewery was right next door, <laughs> and but then that made sense because they were a glass company. I was like, what kind of brewery makes glassware? Well, oh, it makes yeah. sense because now all of their beer that they serve comes out of their glassware. There's some grit place right across the street from them because some lady walked in with a... It's the size of a gigantic nacho plate that you would get from a Mexican restaurant, but it was all grits. Wait, what? You don't remember that? No. <laughs> yeah, I was really impressed with it. I, was I don't like, remember a, a lot from 2020, it's though. It's a shit ton of grits. That's why I remembered it. I was like, that person like sawdust so where this was this is when we went to pretentious yeah 
I forget I the name that. of the breakfast place, but you know, my wife loves grits, so yeah, that's why okay. it really stuck out to me. Okay. But yeah, man, what are we drinking on right now? I actually kind of forget. I just know it's the uh, it's the Astro Kitty. It's the New England. New I, at least that's what I'm drinking on. Did you order the same thing I did? I did. Okay. So this one is the uh, it's the pretentious beer company Astral Kitten. It's a New England style IPA, seven and a half percent ABV, super drinkable, very crushable. Yeah, it has a unique flavor that I don't pick up in much of IPAs. Um, but pretentious beer is different in a sense that every beer I've had from those guys doesn't taste like. And it, it's going to sound cliche because most craft breweries have their unique spin on things. Like you can always tell Living Water beers. You can always tell yeah. Bearded Irish beers. And we talk about that all the time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but but Pretentious has a very unique taste and flavor to all their beers. And as we get into more of them, we're going to pick up on that unique flavor that we're picking up in this one. But this is yeah, their yeah. New England IPA. I figured... If I'm going to go hoppy, I'm going to start with the New England before I move on to the West Coast because once you get the West Coast IPA, it's it's yeah. over. Yeah, sorry. I was head bobbing to that new uh, song that we were just... <laughs> 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 I may or may not have had that on repeat dun, dun, three or four times dun, yesterday. Dun. It's, it's such a good day. Beat, I love it. What was the name of that song? Too or? Big. Too Big. Yeah. God, an ice cube. When you pointed out that <laughs> lyric, I was like, that's so <laughs> true. So true. Only a cube can get away with that. Dude's a nutcase, what? man. That dude is hilarious. It was what? It was a uh, uh, not tic tac toe. Oh, oh that's that's it. bum yeah. into a lyric. It's just <laughs> only Ice Cube could pull off something just like that. Swinging on in for his uh, round of rhymes, right? And it's just like be five oh bum. Yeah. Like oh, you're a gangster and you could say something <laughs> like that, and people don't laugh at you. Yeah. That's when you know you've made it. No one's gonna fuck with you if that's the case. That's right. I did make a cube reference at work. Uh, the white collar gig, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I was pretty happy with the results from it. <laughs> But, you know, you hop on those early morning calls and people are like, man, it's such a good day. I've had salads oh, and God, I've already had that. a cup of coffee and they're just doing the whole little rigmarole. I hate that. And I was like, you know, it's like Cube says, the, every day you don't need your AK. It's a good day. There you and go. Uh, it really brought the spirits up on that channel even more so. Good. But uh, it was my morning voice. And I don't know if you have one, but I'm just kind of groggy. My sinuses aren't clear yet. And I'm like, mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit deeper. Yeah. So it sounded uh, on point that morning. You sound a little bit more hard during yeah. the morning time. Yeah. You ain't hard as fuck like J-Rock. Uh, but uh, my laugh is weak. So, <laughs> you know, I didn't laugh on my joke either. So that made the delivery even stronger. Even better. But even yeah. better. Ooh, we've got a, a local regular here. Rain Shodgers? <laughs> Come on down. Shane Rogers. You got his mic on? It's on now. What is he drinking? He's got to be drinking that berry. Are you drinking pretentious? I'm drinking, yeah, berry AF. Berry AF. Is that the peanut butter and jelly one? It is. Speak a little bit more in. <laughs> there he yeah. is. Speak a little bit more in. Okay. We get Shane Rogers. We were at um, Cletus last night. Yeah. yeah. Closing down the place. Mm-hmm. I think I had three. I don't know, man. All I know is I was sitting at the end of the bar and a couple beers went uncalled for. So oh. they were like, hey, you want it? And I'm like, I'll drink anything. So. <laughs> you know, I don't not want free beer. I'll take free beer. Well, I definitely remember, too, is, uh, you know, they're more of a restaurant. And they've only been open for about a week. Yeah. So uh, I'm sitting there at the bar and, you know, they're mm. giving us like a little eye. And I'm like, what's going on? But you felt kind of weird, right? Because yeah. they didn't say last call. So right. they were like, uh, you guys closing out? And I was like. I guess we are. I go, what time are you guys close? They're like, 9 o'clock. And I go, what time is it now? They're like, 9.15. And I was I like, guess well, I am close. we got to go. <laughs> I was like, it's uh, traditional to uh, say last call or right. indicate in some way yes. that we are overstepping. But at least the I, new kids on the block. Hand clap saying, yeah. hey, last call, motherfuckers. They didn't care. <laughs> they didn't care. They were like, these guys are still buying beers. We'll stay here all night. Yeah. We were yeah. giving them money. And, I, and again, to your point. They've only been open for a limited time. I think they were trying to test to see what they can and can't yeah. get away with. And yeah. well, hey, if, if no one's telling us, I mean, we're not going to overstay our welcome. That's what I do time. every time I go to a new place. I test what I can and can't <laughs> get away with it as well. Got to test that bandwidth. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so Shane yeah. Rogers leading the way for the rest of us. <laughs> hey, I mean, someone's got to do it. That's right. It was a fun time, though. Cletus mm-hmm. is an awesome place. Their, their beer list is great. Their food is great. Um, not trying to take away from where we no, are yeah, today by any means, but it was just a 
it was a cool place. And then to see, and then to see that some of the same people from there last night show up on this side. How far are we away from Cletus? Uh, not too far. Okay, I'm from Murfreesboro. It's 40 minutes. Everything's no 15 where minutes away. Yeah, in Nashville, that's true. you could pretty much, you know go from one end to the other end depending on what time of the day but. Yeah. definitely yeah the traffic right now is kind of suck yeah. kind of sucky but you know so we've got the astral kit in the new england ipa we were talking yes. about that earlier tell us what what do you have there that's the pb and j one yeah called so it's a very a very af yeah so what i'm getting out of it i'm getting a, it's a very distinctly sour um i get a lot of the j not so much of the p oh um, it's a sour beer yeah it's it's a it's, oh. it's kind of got a, a nice oh. It's got a nice mm. berry flavor, but I, I need a little bit more peanut butter. You know. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It looks like no peanut butter in there. But as yeah. soon as he, as soon as Shane walked over with that beer, I knew that's the one he was <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Colorful. But I always, I thought just by reading it, maybe it was like a like PB and J. Like I don't know, maybe it was a stout. That, maybe that sounds stupid. You can't get that with jelly, but right. but as soon as I saw that, I go, yep, that must be that one. But did I thought maybe it'd be like a fruit beer or something like that. I didn't know it was a sour. Hmm. Is it more tart or is it it's, more? It's more tart. Okay, that's, I can get on board. That's what's kind of throwing me a little bit of a loop here. It's like it would work if it had more peanut butter. Mm. I think it would balance some of the tartness. Um, but for now, it's it's like a fruited sour. That's awesome. I'm going to go ask in the kitchen if they have any peanut butter and just put a <laughs> teaspoon in there and stir it up. I mean, there's no there's no shame. Add I mean, a little texture. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah. Gives me that gloop I'm looking for. Just anyway. take spoonfuls yeah. of peanut butter and shoot it with the PB&J beer. Yeah. It's yeah. all good. Take a bite and a swig. Oh, yeah, you so can put some on the uh, old hand, kind of like a, is it a, supposed to be a tequila <laughs> shot? Yeah. <laughs> Mitch, I don't think you understand how to use tequila shots with the lime. No, no, that was great. I just was drink great. tequila. I don't. I Taking just, the lime at the end and squeezing it into the tequila, it in the glass. tequila. I mean, hey, it <laughs> saves a step. He's very efficient. That's, yeah, Mitch is an efficient guy. He's an efficient guy. That's what it is. That just means I fuck shit up. Yeah. <laughs> he does a line of salt, <laughs> squeezes the, the yeah. thing in there, and then takes the shot. Yep. it's Man. good. I'm 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 digging this IPA. Yeah, it's, it's got a, a very different flavor from other like. IPAs that I've had before. Yeah, they got two on there. They got the uh, the Nipa and the the West the, Coast style. The West Coast, yeah. I, I I really wanted to go for the West Coast first, but logic tells me that yeah. that is not the one to start with. Don't right. blow the palate up. Right. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I would imagine I, I in my in my head if I'm gonna have if I'm gonna have a couple of beers, I'm gonna go New England style, and then I'm going to go. Um, probably west coast after that but we can get into more of that in a little bit sounds good well thanks again guys i'll yeah. uh, i'll uh, relinquish my chair for the uh, <laughs> guests of honor <laughs> sounds good we'll take a quick rinse break mitch sounds good i'll we'll be right back hey everybody thanks for listening so far i just wanted to take this rinse break opportunity to give a shout out to cody mullins who works at pretentious he stayed in contact with us throughout their venture into nashville for this tap takeover and I'm just so excited that we were able to steal a few minutes of their time during this tap takeover to talk all things pretentious beer, pretentious glass, and what beers are available uh, in the Nashville area. So um, without further ado, let's get back into it. And we're back at Craft Brood where pretentious beer is uh, doing a tap takeover. The beer's hitting me already. (laughs) Had a little trouble with your name there. (laughs) But we got Matt and Matt, right? Matthew. 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 Matthew and Matthew. Matthew and Matthew, not shorthanded? No. No. No, bro. My brother is uh, Matthew, but he goes by Matt, so uh-huh. that's why I messed up. I'll blame Man. myself for that. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> 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 you just introduced yourselves. <laughs> but, <laughs> but feel free, go ahead and yeah, just like uh, introduce yourselves, and then we'll get into the beers. Yeah, so I'm Matthew Cummings. I own and founded pretentious beer and pretentious glass in the old city at knoxville so my background is in glass sculpture i've been doing that for 20 years now mm. and then about 10 years ago i launched the glassware company and then started home brewing uh as part of the research to design the best beer or the best glasses that i could and also i was a broke ass artist at the time mm. so like i was like oh i can make five gallon you know <laughs> five things gallon of beer of yeah i was like yes for like Heck you yeah. know pennies on the dollar i was yeah. like yes so i got into it and then the bug just bit me and then i was like mm. uh we opened up as a craft beer bar i think like five years ago and mm. then about four years ago started brewing 
Yeah. Ah, okay. You know what? Come to think of it, yeah. I'm wondering because I was drinking. I want to say I probably had my first pretentious beer, uh, which obviously up until recently I couldn't get outside of Knoxville. Yeah. And uh, so I have family that lives in Knoxville. So we'd go downtown and just kind of hang out downtown Knoxville. And I was like, hey, look at this place that sells beer. And I walk in and it was just glassware. I couldn't figure out. It was, well, uh-huh. I kind of creeped in the door next door and it was like this dark, like, abandoned looking building thing i'm like what's yeah. going on apparently that's and i saw this big like glass blower or whatever i, I uh-huh. can't it was so it was so long ago and i've killed a lot of brain cells since then but i was like where's the beer and then it was like oh you go next door uh-huh. and we go next door and it was just like this small bar yeah. and then i think they had a little like small table section at the front right to the right when you walked in yeah yeah was that 2018 if, what was there it? was you guys first so open the brew the brew house got dropped off like the end of 2017. Okay. So if there wasn't a brew house in, it was pre, like mid 2017. It had to have been then. It had to have been because I, I remember walking in. They had a menu. I sat down. I ordered a flight of beers. Uh huh. Um, might have had just like a flight of uh, all different kinds of beers or whatever I had there. And then, hmm. and then I wanted to go back. And then finally, when we did, it was like right as the COVID lockdowns were being yeah. lifted, uh, yeah. so to speak. So we went back. No going inside except to, you know, you go straight to the back, sit down in yeah. the, like the garden area out back. Yeah. And then somebody came out and took your order, came back, got the beer, and then brought it back to you. Uh huh. So I've been drinking pretentious for, well, I guess now five years. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. I was super pumped when we found out we were getting pretentious in Nashville. Heck yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That yeah, shit doesn't you. happen all the like it. No, super excited to see you all here. Yeah. yeah thank you. Nice. Super excited to be here, man. Mm. We've been like treated so well this last couple of days like the hospitality and mm. the beer scene you know we lo- know <clears throat> know and love a lot of <clears throat> yeah breweries here in town uh, but we got to visit some different ones like mm. living water and barrique uh-huh. love those uh, people. Yes. man great beer yes. awesome vibes yes uh yeah and then that grimy's the record shop oh and, uh, yes you know obviously okay. Oh, I think you might might be off. Try that. That's a good. I couldn't hear him through the headphones. Not yet. No. Is his mic even on? There we go. Did you okay. okay. There All we right. go. Hey, there Technical he difficulties. The oh, yeah, yes. that's Sorry. okay. It's my bad. Mom always said that a face for radio, so it all works out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the vibe here in Nashville has been amazing. We got to hang out with Brandon over at, uh, at Embrace the Funk this afternoon. Mm, yeah. Got to try some amazing beers. Uh, yeah, like Matthew was saying, just, just the hospitality and the open-armed situation. It's, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I love about, in, well, in every city, for the most part, in the craft beer community. But as we get, as we get, excuse me, as we get more and more breweries in the area, I never feel like people are fighting to try to take competition from somebody else. Yeah, obviously, mm-hmm. there's internal competition to say like you got to meet your numbers and just got to make moving into a new market worthwhile. And there's mm-hmm. only so many dollars in a city that can go around. But yeah. I don't feel in Nashville. I mean, with Living Waters, with Yazoo, with um, Crazy Gnome, we've got Barik, mm-hmm. um, with all these breweries, and now you guys entering the scene. Like, there's there's more dollars still to be spent. Mm-hmm. And so just having you guys come in is is nothing but great from Nashville because we all love you guys as shit and we just we can't get it. Yeah. You know, up yeah. until now. I've been admir- or uh, what's the word admiring the glassware. I think it was, used to be on an Etsy shop or something. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. We still got the Etsy shop nice. rolling. We were actually um, this year we made it to the official Etsy holiday gift guide, which oh. they only feature 25 shops out of the millions of shops whoa uh, so they curate that internally and then we just found out a few days ago um they also do like a celebrity uh gift guide every quarter mm-hmm. so for the holiday gift guide which is the real big one uh nicole ritchie did that gift guide and chose our champagne glasses no uh-huh. way yeah yeah and that's yeah. big yeah. yeah i was like that was real cool yeah <laughs> <laughs> like so, so Nicole, thank you. Yeah, yeah, shout out. <laughs> yeah. Can you uh, stay on the line? We have Nicole Richie here to talk to you. Like, <laughs> sorry, what? Hi, this is Nicole. I love pretentious. <laughs> oh, oh, love love <laughs> <laughs> and script. <laughs> yeah. Done. 
So you mentioned Grimey's uh, yeah. a minute ago. Where else are you guys going to be located at Nashville? Grimey's uh, here at Craft mm-hmm. Brood. Um, um, anything else that you guys have? Or are you just doing a tap takeover today we here got, and figuring out the details We got later? some stuff. In, oh, no. We took like two full car loads. Like we, oh, did, yes. we did. It was like there was almost 2,000 pounds of beer in my truck. Whoa. Yeah. I was like it was so... We, as much Just as for we reference, can. what color truck do you drive? <laughs> Unless you want to fill it with gas, it's empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we hit, up, we hit up, like, I think uh, 12 South has a nice. few kegs. Um, Main Street Liquor. Main Street Liquor. Uh, Westwood or Lick Wines Westwood. or something. Woodlawn? Woodlawn. 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 Yeah, yeah, Woodlawn yeah. Wines. Yeah, we went there. Long. Uh, yesterday, last night, beautiful spot. Yeah, there one. Yeah, uh, which Man. one did you go to? The East Nashville, or there's another one in. Uh, oh, what's it called? It's near uh, Bearded Iris's other location too. Germantown. Well, not Germantown, but the Sylvan Supply. Sylvan Supply. Yeah. Man, we were right over by um, Art World, or no, no, we were by uh, we were by the liquor store. Yeah. So it's probably East Nashville. Probably East if you're Nashville. making yeah. drops across East Nashville, yeah. I would imagine yep. they made that space beautiful inside. Yeah, yeah. and then because we hit Hunter up them, the one that runs it. Yeah, yeah, he was super cool. Yeah, and we hit up them, and we hit up uh, No Quarter. Oh, nice! Oh, so hell we yeah. did like Pinball a little galore. Oh. Yeah, yes. I didn't realize it after Cody had told us it was No Quarter. I was like, oh, I didn't put it together, and then dude, it, it took me. Like a no, don't worry, no, don't worry about it. I realized that like six months ago. <laughs> so it's okay. Yeah. I was like, man, is this like a like a military surplus thing or something? <laughs> yeah. you know? And then you go in and it's pinballs and you're like, ah, oh. uh, totally makes yeah. sense. I mean, still cool. But <laughs> yeah, so yeah. dumb. Yeah. What about uh, cork dorks? Are you guys going into cork dorks yet? There's frugal McDoodles. Frugal McDoodles. Oh, wow. They're oh. big bottle shops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. All right. Now, we're going to do another run or here in a couple weeks, I think. I know. Cody's going to bring some more up um, in a few days uh, to hit up. But, yeah, no, those are just those. We got five places that yeah. we uh, distro to this trip, mm-hmm. and that was as much beer as we could possibly. Nice. We're going to have to rent, like, a box truck oh, next time. That's awesome. Yeah. We just had a burger joint open up where uh, a, la- a craft brewery used to be. Uh, I guess it's near Elm Hill Pike. Cletus. Cletus. Cletus burger. Yeah. 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 We drove by there today. Right, right, yeah. Right. yeah. I heard, like, everybody just gushing about how Dude. good it is. Well, the, the, yeah. what we love about it is the rotating taps they've got. And if you uh-huh. have mini kegs or whatever, I'm not familiar with the terminologies. Uh-huh. But if you got something that you just want to get tapped somewhere in Nashville, Cletus is the place. Just See, okay. drop just it off. looking for anything fresh, cool. whatever, you know. Um, if it's unique, even better. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. We were there a week and a half ago, and when we showed up again last night, they had six of their 24 were already rotated again. Oh, cool. Yeah. Once or twice. Wow. Grand opening okay. was yesterday. Yeah. So. Oh, cool. okay. So they're super fresh. Yes. Oh, yes. Nice. All right. Matthew, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Um, Mm -hmm. Well, I'm from Denver. Uh, I started brewing professionally in 08 at Coors. Coors. Yeah. Yeah. I read uh, up on you. Oh, okay. Yeah. (laughs) Fair enough. enough. Uh, Gypsy Circus. You 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 slept really well last night. I slept a little bit. (laughs) So I heard about your Harry Potter nook. It's great. (laughs) (laughs) No, I did not sleep on the floor next to two guys. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, and then kind of grew the career. uh, Brewed for Rock Bottom downtown Denver. Blossom there, and then uh, took over the barrel program at, at Breckenridge and ran that out of Littleton. Nice. Um, and yeah, started the barrel program for Gypsy Circus in Knoxville. Got that up, up and going. Uh, took a little hiatus. I brewed for uh, Elkmont. I don't know if you guys ever tried mm. Elkmont. Elkmont Knox- Exchange. Yeah. Yep. Been there yep. a few times. So I brewed for them for about Good food three too. years. Yeah, it was banging. Yeah. Yeah. So fortunately enough, the fooder program and, and busy as hell when I going. went there. Super like super busy. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of one of the, the weird parts about it was it wasn't very turn style. You couldn't really belly up to the bar and, and have yeah. a couple beers. But um and then yeah, I took a hiatus and ended up uh just meeting up with Matthew and yeah. offered me the opportunity to come back and get my boots wet again and, and uh fortunately enough I'm I'm very honored and proud to be the head brewer. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. it's it's an honor. It's a true honor. The head brewer of pretentious beer company sitting right yeah, here. Yeah, man. That's fucking wild. No, man. that's he's right here. <laughs> man. No, it's the other Matthew. No, it's the it's other Matthew. Matthew. No, it's the other, the other Matthew. Matthew. So that was one thing that we clarified when we both introduced each other for the first time. It was like, I'm Matthew. And he's like, I'm Matthew. It was like, 
All right, we're gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> so now I go by Lily. <laughs> neither one of them are neither one of them are Matt. Right, uh, we established that early the on at the part. beginning. I meet a lot of Matts, but not yeah. many that introduce themselves as Matts. Matthew, yeah. 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 Now my mom beat that into me because she was like. Yeah, I didn't name you after a uh, doormat. Your name <laughs> is Matthew. Yeah, I like that. Right. Like, All right, mom. We're nice. about the same time. The gift from God is what. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the time yeah. was. So. No, that is way, my I'm family's not. language as well. <laughs> uh, yet I get, I got named Mitch. It's Matthew and Mark are my uh-huh. older brothers. You didn't get John or <laughs> nah, it was just Paul. Mitch out of nowhere. My, brother, my brother's name is Paul. This guy's not gonna <laughs> be a Bible <laughs> character growing up. <laughs> oh, it was that time. Yeah. <laughs> are those horns? <laughs> uh, he's Mitch. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was born like 10 and 12 years later after my brother so uh-huh. I was like I'm a mistake that's oh, why I don't know you're the name. miracle baby <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mitch the miracle There's there we go really like that. hey miracle Mitch I got a stripper name when I really need cash <laughs> <laughs> after a weekend job coming to the <laughs> stage <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> he sure does have a pretty <laughs> smile <laughs> <laughs> he's worked hard on that beer gut of that's his he's so uh, so greased so himself tired, up yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so how long are you guys in in nashville for are you staying just the the night now i mean are you guys going back tonight yeah, no, yeah we're guys, staying tomorrow. tonight so okay. we came in yesterday so we had all day yesterday and then today just hanging out doing this event and then yeah heading out tomorrow right on yeah. hit living waters you said you got a chance was ryan there kind of the uh ryan mckay ryan mckay yeah, is yeah, the owner the, yeah yeah Living the water, super dope. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. actually was able to uh, speak with him a little bit while I was sitting there. They went over to uh, Grammys, mm. and he and I just kind of waxed poetic on beers and love their horizontal tanks. And oh, yeah. Awesome. The Colch was on point. Yeah. Oh, the Colch are dope. Dude, yeah. yeah, that's just one of those things, tricks of the trade. Mm-hmm. Always try their lager. You can't hide behind it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love the vibe of that spot. The vibe was so dope. You know? Yes. Yeah. That, the old whiskey and liquor bottles on the wall when you walk yeah. in, like yeah. right to the left. Even all the books yes. and yeah, just approachability. Yeah, was outstanding. The coffee is a great little kicker. It so, may be like a smaller space, but I always find somewhere that I can set up shop with my laptop, you know, and mm-hmm. work out of there. Get coffee, get all the beers. Yeah, they, they've done really well with the aesthetic and just the general just vibe there. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. Never too bright. No. So uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you guys are what? What are you guys drinking on? By the way, we we just had the Astral Kit in the New England IPA. Oh, yeah, my dad. You like that, dude? That was so good. Thank yeah. You. The problem with pretentious beer is I can't fucking get it anywhere except in Knoxville. <laughs> uh-huh. And so you guys are rotating and coming out with these new beers, and I don't get. I honestly I can't remember because it was 2020 the last right. time we were in Knoxville, so I don't remember what I I. I remember going out the the wall art. By the way, the pictures on there are super awesome. They're hilarious. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, you know, the characters of like presidents and just famous people. Uh-huh. And it's, it was funny. But I don't remember the beer that I had. But I walked in today and I looked at the f- five. Yeah, you guys five, have on, five tap. on the tap yeah. takeover. I haven't had any of them. I don't know if any of them are like regular rotations that you guys yeah. have, but. You got a New England, you got a West Coast, mm, yep. the PB and J, which is I think Shane said was a sour. It's a sour, it's yeah. Sour. And yep. then the Hellas Lager. Mm. Yep. Correct. What's the uh and then do they have good times? Do they get the Italian pills? No. They have the good times and I believe they have the pinky Pinky Bling, the Saison. They also There's have a, a bunch in cans. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so I was looking at the tap wall. Yeah, there's more in yeah. cans. Gotcha. Uh, okay. That are on tap. Sweet. Yeah. Shit. Oh, oh, and then they, they got the one. um the very cute uh, the very cute AF. Yeah, uh, that's the PB and J sour. No, nah, that's Sticky Fingers. Sticky Fingers. Sticky okay, fingers. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Yeah. And then the that one's also blackberry and um, uh, raspberry puree. Ooh, no. I want to say it's two. It's two berries. That's it's why I berries. named it that. Yeah, it's very cute. It's very cute AF. <laughs> <laughs> Tra- TM trademark. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but yeah, no, actually, so most of these are, are new recipes and even of the beers that we've redone and kept along like Chug Life, our uh, our check pills. Um, that Chug one is Life. that that's one so is good. still uh, we've brewed that for years, but that's got all the beers about like in January of this year <clears throat> was the first time that I had a crew strong enough on the glass side mm-hmm. and my right hand dude. You know, shout out to Alex Greenwood that uh, yeah. can run that whenever I pull back and focus on other things. So I've been focused exclusively on the brew side since January. So retooled all the recipes, 
like picked out some new recipes, figured out kind of what we wanted on a more regular basis. Mm. You know, it's still very rotating, mm. um, but things that uh, we would invest the time and energy into canning them so we can yeah. start doing more distro uh, and then doing all the art for the new cans, which we've got. I think they ended up with like six of the new SKUs here. Yeah, I think Ooh. it was six. Yeah, and they look sexy. If you saw their Instagram posts, like the colors and everything together, they did a really, really good job with that. So we appreciate them yeah, uh, repping that so hard. So, yeah, so I mean, even 2020, it's a pretty different vibe yeah. on the beers. Um, <clears throat> we've kind of like schismed into, we still do a lot of crazy uh, fruited sours, uh, but the honestly, like, we're digging making lagers mm. uh we're pushing those super hard uh mm -hmm. we're doing double decoctions on most of those so like and you can taste that in the uh, marzen Ooh. marzen for um, sure the hellas yeah. as well yeah uh, nice. explain that terminology to me so a double uh, a double decoction so this comes from this is a more traditional brewing technique and it comes from when uh malts were under modified <coughs> or had low low modification to them so they don't it's harder to convert the starches into fermentable sugars. So you would go through several steps of different protein rests and different um, activity. <coughs> and uh, normally how you would do that is you would take part of the wort off to a kettle on the side sure. and then vigorously boil that, get it much harder, and then you transfer it over and it raises the temp a little bit. So while we don't have to do that, we do the double decoction because – we get this great melanoidin effect and this great caramelization that will add layers of complexity to something as clean and as transparent in flavor as lagers. So it just gives it this like, like I don't know, like, like depth. Yeah, there's uh, a, like there's a sense of happiness. Yeah, Every time I have like double the cotton, like that beer tastes happy, bro. You could just yeah, tell it looks it's good. Like, that's it's a rainbows. flavor profile. Yeah, and unicorns. Happy. Yeah, yeah. But it does do it does increase the complexity, I think, of the body itself, and really, really brings to light kind of the potential of malts and grains. And uh, I just love how it's buried in in such tradition. They would actually take it out and use hot stones, granite, to keep it boiling, and then reintroduce it uh, just to get that complexity. So. As, as as contemporary brewers, we don't have to do that process, but it's, I don't know, I think it's a lot of fun to get back to the roots. Yeah. It does yeah, so, so much for the too. flavors. Yeah. 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 It does so much for yeah. the flavor. What do you guys find that you're, that you gravitate towards when you're brewing? What's the, what's the beer that you typically like to brew? Because I mean, like, so again, Ryan at Living Waters, I feel like we plug him all the time, but that guy is just so good at what he does. But he loves making sours, and he loves uh -huh. making stouts, yeah. and he likes making IPAs. But like, there's other breweries that like like embrace the funk. You yeah, know, Yazoo, oh, yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. What do you guys What do you guys find out you enjoy brewing the most when you're putting something together? Mm. I think that's kind of the brilliance in our new relationship. Just as as young as I am with the company, is that we're definitely trying to bounce and wax poetic off the styles. And what we foresee pretentious actually having and matthew's inspiration behind all of it is is the driving force definitely the impetus uh but we're really coming coming down to like trying to hone in on recipes i just love the fact that we're so versatile and willing to just give it a shot and try something different sure using platforms obviously but uh just developing and, and going old school and yeah and we talk about weird difference so we did i think is <laughs> no quarter was the one that ended up with the, yeah, the with quaffer. the keg yeah. uh quaffer um swirling quaffer. swirling quaffer smith mm -hmm. and it was a memorial beer to my mentor the guy that taught me how to blow glass passed away a few years ago so they're mm -hmm. having like an unveiling for a sculpture for him uh and so we brewed a beer for the celebration and uh we tried to combine two of his favorite drinks, which was a Jack and Coke, or like Makers and Coke at the at the end, and yeah. uh, light lagers, like just the easy chuggers. So we made, <laughs> we made a, the Makers and Coke rye lager. Whoa, it was <laughs> the rye craziest. Lager. It tastes like it's out there. It it honestly, it tastes like a Makers and Coke. That's, That's awesome. wild. It's, yeah, it's a trip. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to get down to no quarter yeah. for that. I gotta try that. It's a it's an experience unto itself because you know like uh, the brilliance behind it is they actually sent us fresh maker staves Whoa. to actually utilize, and we did the rye lager as as the base recipe. Then I actually I, I put the staves in the fermenter and just kind of let it chill and mm. and, and homogenize in that. Mm. And then I wasn't getting enough of the wood and and the profiles that I was looking for, so we put it over in our our bright tank and just bubbled it with the Coca Cola syrup over the weekend, and it just blew my mind. I couldn't believe yeah. the, uh, it. Yeah, the product. Night and day. It was yeah. it was wild. Yeah. They like added like three months of barrel aging onto it. Yeah, yeah, lower temp and just CO two and just brought all of the wood out of it. But the Coca-Cola is, is there, it shines. Yeah. So wow. Cool. It's like <laughs> bourbon, <laughs> like, Coke, wood, yeah. rye, like, lager. <laughs> we got a coin. It's 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we didn't have time it. to like <laughs> blend anything down or like no. take a more safe route of like figuring out the dosing. It was mm. just like, we have to get this done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was fun. I stand behind it. That's, That's awesome. Yeah. pretty good. And the artwork, if you get to see the cans or anything mm. like that, is outstanding. It's a very beautiful homage to his, his mentor. Yeah. Oh man! Well, now I've they, got, well, now I got to get the cans. Yeah, I was gonna say now <laughs> I got to try the upsell. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you would love. Are you doing sixteen ounce tall boys? You doing? Yeah, the, all okay. sixteen ounce tall boys. Four, out, four pack cans. Yeah, yeah. four packs. Awesome. Yeah. I'm excited, Mitch. What do you think, man? Dude, uh, I'm gonna have to get more beer before I leave here. But the uh, I saw something interesting on your bio online. Old Uh-oh. style. Old style. Oh, yeah. Still? We keep it. What? Yeah, we keep it in stock at the bar. We don't sell it, <laughs> but we keep it in stock. And we get, actually, sometimes we do sell it, but every once in a while we'll get a spot where we can't get a case yeah. or like a few cases for the week. And then I'm like going with my Sharpie and I'm like crossing it out on this for sale board. I'm like, no one no touched that last nice. case of old style. <laughs> no That's <way>. mine. <laughs> <laughs> we, couldn't, we couldn't get it for weeks. But yeah. It's, uh, yeah, we're when we clean at the end of the brew day, we just crack an old style. It's yeah, like, spraying out awesome. the kettle with the old style yeah. in your hand. That's the yeah. something about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's got to be ice cold, man. Yeah, oh yeah. I, that's the only way I can drink old style. Yeah, but I just I've I've had it warmed up, and I'm just like, uh, just the longer it sits there, can't do it. Nah. It's been a minute for me on old style. I have yeah. to give that another try. I've, I'm definitely back with hams because that's made its yeah, resurgence here. Uh-huh. No quarter always has it typically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's you know high, Miller High Life was kind of my college drink, so ham hits home with that kind nice. of category but i need to give old style another try yeah i mean it, it ranks right up there with like rainier and oh yeah all, yeah, the, all yeah. the old yeah. old, old yeah. styles old school actions pbr for sure yeah I'm like a huge <laughs> cool. fan. yeah that's the <laughs> i can't help it man it's a crushable beer it's a great i, I get it i get it that can't get but you're right old style is mine <laughs> there's a nostalgia to that for me there's so a, yeah. Uh, yeah but it's got to be ice cold <laughs> gosh fair enough well, gentlemen, we appreciate it, man. Yeah, I you know I know you guys are here doing a tap takeover. Yeah. We, we don't want to take up too much of your time, but you know the only other few questions I had was like I saw that you, you do an updated untapped list for your on-site location. Uh huh. Has that been like a good thing overall, or I, I'm just always what? curious. Uh, do you have people uh, come in and like or, unta- yeah, or untapped untapped general. General. yeah, yeah. I, like I know, we check on tap for the most recent like <laughs> yeah. tapping Man, selection. I'm glad there's no there's no camera right here. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not advocating for untap. No, I hate the thing like, when it comes yeah, to ratings. Yeah, I'm I can't. The mic, I'm out. It's you a can't. great question, and every single person yes. that we talk to has, I think, the same opinion that yeah. you may or may not I mean, give us. It's, but it's the Yelp of beer. It is yeah. like it's Completely. such like. The more your personality is based on that app, the less interested I am sharing a beer yeah. with you. You know, yeah, that's like, that's a little hard stance, but like, oh, man, true. it's like sit and enjoy the beer. <laughs> exactly. Talk to other people. Like, here's the thing. Here's untapped etiquette. You got it. You check out what that, sh- that place's overall score is. And if you like it, rate it there or higher. If you don't like it and want to rate it less, just don't check it in. Right. You know, or at least like leave some critical feedback instead of uh meh w- yeah, yeah 1.25 <laughs> uh that ipa was too was hoppy right it's like that why is this so why is this like, double me. ipa so bitter west coast IPA so, <laughs> it's like i don't like bitter beer it's like 
Well, <laughs> 0.25. Yeah. Why is this IPA? Yeah. There is such a thing as uh, not rating the beer, but still checking it in to yeah. everybody that listens bring down to your average. average. Uh, that's <laughs> no, I, no, that's it. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't bring down your average. Nope. No, yeah. I, I, check it, I check it every week, just um, honestly for quality control, just to make sure if somebody is like, picking up on uh, weird off flavors or yeah. anything, like or the service, like mm. just to keep a pulse on it. But... Man, it's just worthless outside of that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like, if there's nothing contextually driven by it, it's, it's yeah. just. Yeah. I want to give my shout out to the homie at Pilsnerish. That's always, that's the most <laughs> that I enjoy. <laughs> Untap. Yeah. He used yeah. to be Untap, you know, WTF. Uh, WTF. Nice. And uh, so he posted one the other day. It was like, it was about beer stat. Uh, and he, they were like, uh, 0.5 stars. <laughs> this they don't even have a German restaurant. Was like, <laughs> yeah. was like what? Beerstadt like, in Denver. <laughs> wow, it's yeah. like the best loggers in the country, and that's Hands it. Down. It's not Some a German the spot. They just make great, and they're like, why don't you have a German restaurant? <laughs> it's oh like, man, sorry, we make loggers. <laughs> What more proof do you need to, for Untapped to be the Yelp of beer reviews with that right there? Uh, That's crazy. That's uh, crazy. I just, <laughs> you know, like put Bourdain on Untapped and see how he handles that. You know what I mean? <laughs> RIP, of course. I do still. appreciate. I do appreciate <laughs> Untapped for the fact that it allows me to see who has what. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I'll use yeah. that. You know, if you're if you're paying for Untapped as like a as as a brewery and you're not keeping your shit up to date, I don't know what you have uh-huh. outside of. I mean. Fine, go to your website. If you have your, your current list on tap, that's fine, too. But yeah. people are driven by apps these days. Yeah. Yeah. And if there's no way for me to tell what you have on draft or what's in stock, I may or may not be less likely to drive out there to get something right. if I don't know what you have. Uh-huh. If only we knew like the target percentage of how many of the people are like beer nerd enough to do that. Probably not a lot. Yeah. So at least check in the website. I guess the landing page for all that untapped listing would be one indicator, but yeah. it's a struggle in my opinion. I don't know. I but. liked what I think the the, uh, the heart of what that app was meant to be. I took because like 10 years ago, I used to Oh, yeah. Because I was going to Holy Grail all the time, yeah. which is actually we're about to celebrate our 10 year anniversary for the glass shop, oh, yeah. which we launched at Holy Grail. Whoa. Those were like two of my original like homies that helped like gave me feedback on it was Laurie at Holy Grail and Louisville beer store when that was open and Sam Cruz at against the grain. Mm-hmm. And so <clears throat> back then I was going to Holy Grail a ton and she had all these beers and I'm a Southern man mm-hmm. and she had all these, these crazy Belgian beers that mm-hmm. have never been distroed in the States before. And I'm like, I can't pronounce it much less remember what. So I would untap, you know, I would check in just so I could remember, remember what us. kind of crazy yes. Belgian beers I tried. And yeah. I thought that was a beautiful thing. That's very helpful. Yeah. No, it was amazing when it came on the scene because it was definitely a roadmap for explanation, destination, and intention as far as the brewery and, and the beers that they were put, putting out. Now it's just saturated and convoluted. It's kind of uh, yeah. that's just my personal stance on it. I don't have the app anymore. Mm. Like I don't even look. Don't <laughs> yeah. even look. Like yeah. I'll actually take. The extra step, Google your website and go and check and it go out. Go and check it out there instead. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, it, like you said, you know, we're driven so much by apps these days, and that's the easy plug and play. It's it an is. evil, it's an evil but, necessity. Oh, man, I'm, yeah. I'm good. Well, I think this <laughs> beer was really, really good. I'm going to give it Thank a you. two and a half out of five. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Yeah, because it was yeah. a little, it was a little hoppy for me. It tasted too, yeah. too much liquid. Yeah, the too IPA, much liquid. too much, yeah, yeah too it was, much liquid. Yeah, it was a little too IPA ish for me. Too beery, too beery. It was too beery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sun wasn't setting in the right direction. That's what it was. <laughs> Lost all the romance. Man. Well, I appreciate yeah. you all taking the time Thanks out of your lot, day, gentlemen. especially you on your adventure us. into Nashville. And, you know, we're just a local podcast. This is our uh, hobby side, passion project. So we really Love appreciate it, yeah. having yeah, cool. you here. So. Thank you. Yeah, it's Thank an you, honor. Guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very it. much. Thanks. Great to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of handshakes. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's so my butt. Hands. Who touched my butt? <laughs> uh, okay, so HR department. This is this is this is it's you know it's Halloween. Are you yes. gonna release this? Is this in time for Halloween? Is this pre-recorded or is this live right now? No, it's pre-recorded. Pre-recorded. Yeah, pre-recorded. Okay. pre-recorded yeah. So but it'll be released soon. Yeah. 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 Okay. Word. I'll give you a Halloween joke. Do Let's it. Do it. <laughs> All right. So why do why does a zombie not like to eat ghosts? Why does a zombie not mm. like to eat ghosts? 
I can't come up with anything. I'm uh, thinking yet. like I'm going to have the answer, but I'm probably not. Yeah. You will. Hey, Matthew, why does a zombie love to eat ghosts? They don't. They don't like to eat ghosts. Why don't they like to eat ghosts? Why don't they like to yeah. eat ghosts? Because they taste like sheep. <laughs> <laughs> all day. It's, it's nice. All, day. <laughs> all right, here's a good. Here's, I got, I got, I got more. We got more. Like dad we joke. Got more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, all oh, day uh, dad joke. He'll walk in when we're already brewing. He's like, uh, guys, 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 check this out. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> Do you know how to tell the gender of an ant if you're out like camping or something? No. Mm. So you pick them up, throw them in a body of water. If it sinks, it's a girl ant. But if it floats, it's a boy ant. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> How many kids do you have? <laughs> what are the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Including us? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's got <Exactly>. four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> but buoyant. Yeah. Buoyant. Yeah. So Crazy enough to be a good joke, though. I'll give that <laughs> one to you. I like that one better than the zombie uh-huh. one, actually. Go. That was pretty good. Yeah. I'm sure you're bugging everybody over there. Every oh. day. I, <laughs> so I know, like, I know, like 300. It's because he's heard that joke like this is like 14 times yeah. now. He still laughed today. Oh, it's still laughed. He, he's so a funny. He's he like, knows. <laughs> no, he knows. I knew. It's I knew just, my pun landed when everyone went. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah. I don't get. I, that's those are my jokes. That's yeah. how, uh, <laughs> you're tell, the pun master. You know, you I tell struggle. you can tell when a joke is a dad joke because mm. it's fully grown. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> also, also, I'll, I'll have to tell you, it, it's also a parent. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me a second. And this is edited. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is going on exactly how it's being discussed. Mitch. Perfect. Thanks oh, a lot, gentlemen. Awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah, thank the time. You guys. Appreciate thank it. Thank you guys. Let's have some beers. You know, let's try, do it. Yeah. try the Ville. We'll be here until yeah. Tuesday. Tip your waitress. Tip your waitress. Awesome. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.